I'm Maddie. And I'm Nick. We're here to show you this year's 15 finalist videos for Samsung Cell for Tomorrow. Let's take a look. South Jones Elementary School. Noticing the danger of cars illegally passing buses, students designed and implemented an alarm system. Students at South Jones Elementary were posed with the question, what problem do you see in our county that involves students and bus safety? All measures done to date have been reactive, but we wanted to be proactive. So here's our journey using the STEM process. After reviewing the STEM process, we got started. We decided we would focus on proactive measures to ensure student safety, our problem. How to keep students safe from cars legally passing the bus when the stop arm is out. We brainstormed all the different ideas that we could think of to keep the students safe. We narrowed it down to one. A warning system that recognized when a car was trying to pass the bus illegally and at the same time would warn students that it was unsafe to cross the road. We needed to talk to some bus drivers to see the problems they faced and whether they thought our idea was good or not. We interviewed four drivers that worked at our school. We also spoke with the transportation director from our school district and got some very interesting facts. Our bus drivers make over 152 stops where students cross in front of the bus. In 2014, 14 people were ticketed for illegally passing our school buses. In 2015, the district has already prosecuted 10 and will more than likely have more. It is estimated that 76,000 vehicles illegally pass buses on any given day. While the number of actual deaths caused by passing buses illegally is low, the potential for injury or even death is high. We then sketched our ideas out on paper. We place the device on the stop arm because it is activated when the bus driver opens the doors. Next, using our math skills, we determined that we needed a device that could sense a car farther back than a length of a bus. We calculated that it would only take a car 5.4 seconds if they're going 40 miles per hour to reach a student crossing the road 350 feet back from the bus. That is not a lot of time for the bus driver to look in the side mirror several times to determine it is safe for a child to cross the road. After talking with four different engineers, we were encouraged to move the device to the back of the bus because of mechanical and distant issues. They discussed several different possibilities and explained how a voltage switch would work to activate the radar and warning system. Because we are not engineers, we had to rely on their expertise and help with locating a device that would be modified to work within our perimeters. Our new design will be attached at the back of the bus. We use a toy bus to illustrate where our device will be attached and how the radar and warning system will work. Our next step will be to work with engineers in our transportation department to attach our warning system to our bus. Here we are with the engineers attaching the actual devices, the radar and siren, to the bus. We believe this project can go beyond the community's boundaries. Every school district in every county across the country will be interested in knowing how to keep their students safer as they load and unload the buses. The warning system that we have proposed will have far-reaching effects than just our county and community. That was pretty neat. Want to vote for your favorite finalists? Go to samsung.com solve to learn how. Ready, set, vote. vote.